Hello, my name is Robin and welcome to Molten Music Technology. Today, I'm looking at helmet speakers. A little bit away from my usual synthesizers, modular music technology, that sort of thing, but it is kind of rolled into the same idea. And so I thought, hey, why don't I give my opinion on something that I've just been through myself in the hope that it will help other bikers out there who are looking to do a similar thing to me. And what is that, I hear you ask? Well, I just wanted some decent sound in my helmet. That, that's it. It's really that simple, but I found that to be remarkably <laughs> difficult to navigate. Because, heck, you're not allowed just to have sound in your helmet. You've got to have an intercom, you've got to have Bluetooth, you've got to have all these bells and whistles going on, heads-up displays, kind of wings that come out the side, all sorts of crazy stuff. When all you want, at least all I want is to be able to hear some music while on my bike. Now, I used to have earbuds going here. I had some really great little small Sony ones they were that's almost kind of just disappeared into your head. And they were pretty good. And they lasted me for, oh, I don't know, 20 years, I suppose, of riding. Uh, but, you know, they, they were not always perfect because you put on your helmet and it would sometimes snag the cable and they would pull them out. You'd have to put on your helmet three or four times in order to get it right and so that they stayed in. Well, the other thing was that when you're going down the motorway, your helmet would be pushed back by the wind and that would pull them out and pop, they'd go and you'd get like one ear in, in one ear out and you're going down the motorway thinking, I can't stop to sort this out. So I'm just going to have to enjoy one-sided music or kind of no music at all because at, at certain speeds it just kind of loses it completely you know it's like like the sound you're going so fast that sound is always behind you so you can't hear anything anyway so it, it has been a struggle but it's been something that i've got on with and just put up with over the years but finally unfortunately those earbuds broke didn't work anymore and i could not find anything that was remotely similar. Everything seems to have big sticky bits on it, presumably to stop the speakers disappearing into your head, which is what I wanted, or they are wireless, in which case they have these bits sticking out here. And wireless ones are gonna be absolutely the worst <laughs> because you put your helmet on and they're just gonna pop out and fall out of your helmet. Just, just terrible. And so what I felt I needed, what seemed to be sensible to me would be a pair of wired speakers. You know, like a Walkman, like a Walkman of old you'd stick on your head. I just wanted that, but small enough to fit inside the helmet, loud enough for me to be able to hear, and that would that that's all that's all I wanted. Don't want any of these other bells and whistles. I just wanted that. And so that's what I went in search for. Can you find that kind of thing? Can you heck? Can you heck? So looking on like Amazon and stuff like that you put in helmet speakers and you get this constant constant list of these big chunky things you've got to stick on the side of your helmet that come with speakers so you know it's part of the solution but then you've got this this thing that you've got to stick on the side of your lid on here which has got oh, I mean useful things but also bluetooth and stuff for getting into your phone now I mean I understand this I'm not some kind of um <laughs> some kind of Luddite. I do understand what's going on and the reason for these things. I mean, at the same time as I'm doing this, I also added a quad lock to my motorbike, which enables me to place my phone securely on the front. I had used my phone previously with kind of an elastic band type of thing, and it never felt very, never felt very safe. So I thought, right, this time, I'm gonna go the whole hog, go for the quad lock, and that fits in there perfectly. I went for the wireless charging. Oh, beautiful, it's charging my phone. Look at that, I can put the sat nav up on so I no longer having to write instructions on the back and you know, tape it to the back of my glove or you know, masking tape on me tank my list of instructions i can actually follow a sat nav brilliant i felt like i'm i'm really stepping into in the modern day with this sort of stuff now of course if i wanted to use music then why on earth wouldn't i use spotify or something similar on my phone and bluetooth it into my headphones brilliant why not do that well because i don't i don't want to do that i don't want to take phone calls while i'm on my bike 
I don't need an intercom. I don't have any friends on motorcycles that I want to speak to. I mean, potentially pillion. Yeah, maybe. But actually, the last thing you want is a big, long conversation while you're trying to focus on going around corners, I think. <laughs> so I can see I can see the point and the purpose of the phone Bluetooth helmet connection. But that's just not what I wanted. I mean, Bluetooth gives me enough trouble as it is. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, I can't get it to connect. Oh, it's not seeing each other. These two things sitting next to each other completely unaware of each other as you're trying to get them to pair up and that kind of thing it's just like oh too much of a faff and then there's the expense is the other factor because i mean i, I don't want to spend hundreds of pounds and you can spend hundreds of pounds on a bluetooth speaker system for your helmet hundreds of pounds and that's not really what I want to do. I mean, I haven't spent that much money on my studio speakers, for heaven's sake. Why on earth would I want to spend £200 on something that goes inside my helmet, which, you, you know, is not going to be awesome. There's no way it's going to be awesome. I'm just trying to find something that's half, half decent. <laughs> that's going to give me some decent sound. So price is a factor. And then when I'm looking at all these Bluetooth things and they've got speakers with them, I kind of figure that... The price factor, the, the element within the price of this unit that is dedicated to the speakers is going to be tiny. All the technology, all the cost is in this Bluetooth unit which goes on the side of your helmet. So actually, you pay 100 quid for, for a system and the speakers are going to be, what, 20 quid speakers, maybe? You spend 50 quid on a Bluetooth thing and the speakers are going to be worth, what, five pounds? So I don't feel, I, I don't have the confidence to believe that buying a Bluetooth headset system is going to be prioritizing the quality of music through the speakers. And that's what I want. I only want to listen to music. That's all. And so, and so that's what I went in search for. Now you can find... Uh, just speakers it doesn't have to have this big thing here just speakers that kind of have a little bluetooth thing and a microphone here again i don't want them or need a microphone i don't want a microphone not answering the phone not talking i don't want a mic. but anyway you can buy speakers but they tend to be 20 quid and you're going again well you know i'm prepared to to pay 50 70 maybe quid on a decent pair of speakers but if i buy a Bluetooth thing that's that much, the speakers are not going to be worth that much. So anyway, I kept looking and I kept looking. And eventually I did come up with something. And it's that which I wish to share with you in case it's helpful. Because I could find, I literally could find nothing. There's a, in fact, there's a new thing on Kickstarter at the moment, I think it is, that's, that's based around this idea of purely having high quality speakers. And it's got a thing that goes on the side that is Bluetooth, of course, but it's just speakers. It's not got a microphone. It's not got cool answering or anything like that. It just turns up and turns down and skips tracks on here, which is not too bad, but it's 200 pounds and I'm not prepared to pay that. So that was one option. This is the only other option that I found and it's, it's pretty good. I mean, I think it's very good. But it's also slightly confusing because it doesn't tell you what it is. And I almost didn't buy it thinking that oh, this is not right. <laughs> this is not right. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this. This is the Cardo audio set. Now, this is packaged and marketed as an upgrade. It's not put forward as a product in of itself. It's put forward as an upgrade to an existing product. Now, Cardo, Cardo they do in helmet communication systems very very good very very expensive 250 250 quid and then the idea is that these are an upgrade to the built-in speakers so you are even paying 250 quid and apparently the speakers aren't very good not a good sign, <laughs> not a good sign. so these are a possible upgrade so I had a look at them, kept looking at lots of different photos of them, trying to work it out. And I worked out that basically this is just a pair of speakers that go to a mini jack. And that's all I need. Because what I'm playing music from is this classic MP3 Walkman from Sony. Look, it says Walkman on the back and everything. Yeah, I've had this 20 years as well, I think. 
and it's just got a mini jack output. That's all I want. Mini jack plugged into here in my pocket. Shuffle. This has got a thousand fantastic songs on. You know, everyone's a winner. I don't care about Spotify. I don't care about randomizing some kind of playlist or even listening to the radio. I just want my perfectly curated over many years <laughs> perfect shuffled playlist from here. That's it. So all I need is a mini jack into this. So let me tell you about this speakers and upgraded software. Software? How on earth do you get software into this? That's by the by. I'm not going to worry about that for the moment. So let me show you what they are. They are currently installed perfectly in my helmet. After a lot of shuffling about and adjusting, I've got them exactly where they need to be. And I'm now about to take them out to show you, which annoys me. No end. <laughs> no end. I'm going to try to memorize exactly where they are. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. Because it's remarkable how different your ears are. They're not in the same space on either side of the helmet. They're not. They are differently because my ears evidently are not symmetrical. Anyway, let me get these out of here and I can show you because they come out relatively easy. Here they are. Now, you know, I said Walkman. This is exactly what these are. These are Walkman, good old fashioned Walkman headphones. That's precisely what they are. They're made by JBL. Now, JBL is a decent audio brand. They make proper speakers for things. And so that gave me a little bit of confidence into thinking that this is going to be a decent thing to get. I mean, they are thin. They have to be to fit in your helmet and not cause you tremendous pain. But I believe them to be decent. On the back here, it's got kind of Velcro-y stuff, so you should be able to just put them straight in your helmet and they're going to stay. You might need to do some shuffling about, you might need to pull out some of the padding. You know, if you have to go all the way down to the to the, the white uh, polystyrene, then they do also come with Velcro pads that you can stick onto that and then stick these to it. But I found that they just stuck just to the inside of the helmet completely fine. Now, I need to point out a couple of things. First of all, the length of the cable. Because this is the one snag, I would say, is that, I mean, heck, <laughs> that's not really going to fit to your pocket. But the idea for this is that these are supposed to go on your ears and this then just plugs into one of those big fat Bluetooth things on the side of your helmet. So that's the purpose of the short cable. However, all you need is a mini jack extension. Da -da -da, mini jack extension. This goes into there. This then connects to your MP3 player. That goes in your pocket and you're sorted. Do you have a dangly cable from your helmet? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. That's what having a wired thing is about. You have dangly cables. That's, that's a reality and I'm completely happy with that because I know that it's going to work every time. I'm not having to pair it. I'm not trying to get two things to talk to each other. I am literally plugging something into something else. Similarly, when somebody speaks to you, all I've got to do is pull this connection. I don't have to find mute on my gloves, which of course don't work with the touchscreen of my phone. And I'm having to take my gloves off and then touch something in order to get it to stop so that I can answer the question <laughs> that the person at the petrol station is asking me, which is probably, do you want a receipt? <laughs> but this just pulling it apart is brilliant it's simple mechanical doesn't take any effort and you know it's just there it's just there hanging out of your helmet you just got to give it a quick tug and you're good so does it sound any good i mean i guess that's the question and it's a really difficult thing to answer in a video because there's no way i could show you what it sounds like does that make sense but um, if I set something playing, that sounds brilliant to me. <laughs> of course, you can't hear that. <laughs> what I will say is that when you're stationary, 
these are very loud. I mean, I've put my MP3 player up to its maximum volume because that seems to work best. And also, I've got a lot of songs on here which are not at sort of recent mastering levels. So older tracks which are a little bit lower in volume. So I have the thing up at max. And so when you're standing there first getting on your bike, this is loud. Loud it is. And it remains loud, which to me is good. It's good, it's what I want. And it stays loud all the way up to about 50, 60 miles an hour. So regular riding is completely awesome. Go on a dual carriageway, starts to lose it a little bit. <laughs> you know, it, it's again, it's the, it's the wind on the helmet pushing it back. So it's going off your ears a little bit more and just general wind noise and rattling about and all of that. It's, it starts to lose its awesomeness. But as soon as you come to some lights or you take a roundabout or something, you suddenly get this blast of awesome music back again and you're away. Or for a little bit more leisurely activity, if you're just sticking more to the speed limits on regular roads, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So how do you get it into your helmet? Let me see if I can show you. So, uh, I mean, helmets are different. Very, very different all the time. My shark helmet here uh, is different more different than most i would say because of its remarkable uh, flip flip topness which i think works really well but to have a look in here essentially all you're doing is trying to fit it on either side of your of your ears so one in here boom, like that and one in this side now i've read several reviews there's one in that side, one in that side. Several reviews of people saying, oh no, it's not very loud at all. It's terrible, it's uncomfortable. And okay, that is gonna be, I believe, largely because you just don't have them in the right place. You've got to, you've got to put them on your head, you've got to take it off, try adjusting, put them on your head, take it off, adjusting, and so on and so forth. Because you need to get it to sit right over your lug hole. It's no good it being behind or in front or, or somewhere else. It's got to sit right. And that takes a bit of experimentation. Uh, cables again depending on your helmet uh, this one I've got uh, a little bit of oh, I got myself in a little bit of room where I can uh, I can run it uh, run it round the back so it's not getting in the way I can tuck it in that kind of thing the uh, this cable is just got a just got to fall out the side that that's all put it on the side that's your mp3 is going to be on that's most sensible for you probably the left hand side why? I have no idea. Now, I can pull the side away a little bit here. I can pull the side away and then I can thread this cable through just to get it out of the way. And that is going to snap back nicely. It's going to be on the side. It's not going to be in the way of my strap. I'm not going to get snagged up with it. That's a much better way of having it. And then the cable at the back, I, what did I do with that? I don't know, I stuffed it in there or something. <laughs> I could sellotape it in. But you can run it through the lining if that's what you want to do. And once it's in place, you can then try it out. So is it going to be comfortable? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, it, it is like wearing a Walkman. So these things are going to be here. In order for you to get the maximum audio uh, response out of them, they need to be quite close, pushed into your ear. So you are going to, more likely, be able to feel them. And that will get annoying after a while. I mean, I was on a ride for six hours on Saturday uh, to London and back, three hours there, three hours back. And... You know, I adjusted, this is the first time I was out using it, and I adjusted it a few times, kept moving it around a little bit, and I could definitely feel them. And at times they were definitely uncomfortable, but no more uncomfortable than wearing earbuds, no more uncomfortable than wearing a pair of headphones. Now, can you hear, let's see if you can hear the bleed if I put this on again. I have no idea whether you can hear this or not. So am I embarrassed sitting at the, uh, at the traffic lights with this music going on? I don't know. 
Does that make a difference? What about that? I have no idea. Are you hearing that? <laughs> but in here, it sounds flipping ace. Flipping ace. Like I say, I can just pop that if I want it to, to no longer be playing. And I can do this with gloves on. No bother. So in summary then, the, the Cardo audio set, speakers and software upgrade, don't need the software. If you have it plugged into a Cardo um, Bluetooth big chunky thing on the side of your head, there is some, uh, there's a, a piece of software that allows you to change the profile of the speakers from, I don't know, jazz club to flat to pump in bass or something. I don't know, I've no idea what that's about. It's of no interest to me. I'm just trying to plug these in to my MP3 player to hear some music. That's the plan. Now these work in my view, totally brilliantly. I have nothing to compare them with other than earbuds. Um, and it is it's better than that because it survived. Uh, even with the, the wind pushing my helmet and it moving about slightly and you would lose a lot of the volume when you're going at high speeds because of everything else, wind noise, uh, motorcycle noise, the whole lot. Yes, elements of that are, are gone. But as I say, at 60 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, totally awesome i was completely enveloped in it and i mean there's also an advantage of having speakers rather than in-ears because with speakers you do get more of an environmental sound however i was almost run over by an ambulance <laughs> that one particular set of traffic lights but never mind because we also have our eyes and we should also be looking we should also be looking but of course never ever drive your motorcycle with sounds in your helmet so yeah i'm well impressed with these very very pleased with them they cost about 80 pounds in the uk i got mine for 60 quid from amazon because they were the box had been opened or something but they were completely sound completely sound otherwise completely lovely and i've just i can't tell you how pleased I am to be able to listen to music properly when I'm out and about on a long motorcycle ride. Fantastic. See, you don't have to do it with Bluetooth. You don't have to do it with magic and wirelessness. You don't have to spend £100 on some gizmo on the side of your helmet when the speakers are only costing you a fiver. You can put some money into a decent set of speakers by a decent brand and it will sound, it will sound half decent. <laughs> it's not an awesome uh, experience. This is helmet audio on piddling little speakers, but it's the best. It's certainly the best that I've heard and was completely enjoyable once you have them positioned in the right, in the right space. So keep adjusting, keep adjusting, keep adjusting, and you will be rewarded for that. So there you go. I hope that was interesting. Uh, usually, if you're new to my channel and you've come this far with me, then I do videos on, on modular synthesizers, synthesizers, DIY, synthesizer electronics, electronic music, music technology, and the like. So do subscribe, join up, or if you fancy give me a couple of quid, then do just throw it at me. I'm quite happy to receive anything that comes this way. And do go and check out the Patreon where you can get ad-free videos. Hope that was helpful, and in the meantime, go make some tunes. <laughs>